Hey guys, welcome to Complex Numbers Week 6 Review. Apologies about the delay in this video, but um, yeah, we're going to try and get this out anyway. So, as usual guys, uh, three questions here. Work through the three questions, pause the video, uh, try the questions out, and then check the answers with me uh, when you think you're done. Alright, I'm going to start working on the answers, assuming that you've actually done some of these questions. Okay, so question one, you've got if u equals 2 cis 2 pi over 3 and v equals to 6 cis pi over 2, write u over v in polar form. So, we know that u equals that and v equals that, so we can write u divided by v then would equal 2 cis 2 pi over 3 divided by 6 cis pi over 2 and this could be written as 2 over 6 cis 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 2 so we have 1 third cis uh, this is going to be 4 pi over 6 minus 3 pi over 6 and so u divided by v could be written as 1 third cis pi over 6. So remember that when you divide, you divide the modulus, uh, but the arguments you subtract from each other. And when you are doing multiplication, you are multiplying the modulus and you are adding the arguments. So for example, if you had u times v, then this would equal 2 cis 2 pi 3 multiplied by 6 cis pi over 2. So 2 times 6 is 12, and you're going to get cis 2 pi over 3 plus pi over 2, which means you would get 12 cis 7 pi over 6. So that's for multiplication, you add the modulus. For division, you subtract the modulus. Cool, next question. So in this question, we've been asked to find the solutions of the equation z cubed plus n equals to zero, where n is a positive real number. Okay, so with this question, the first step you gotta do is you gotta rearrange it, and you're gonna get minus n. Now, just plotting minus n, because n is a real number, minus n is gonna be here somewhere, which means z cubed could be written as n cis 180 degrees because n is the modulus and so that's n right there and the argument is 180 degrees which means z could be written as n is 180 to the power of third and with this we can say that the first root is going to be n to the power of third says 180 times the third so we can say that the first root is n to the power of third says 60 degrees now remember that we have two three roots so the differences between the roots is going to be 100 and 120 degrees because 360 divided by 3 is 120 which means our second root is going to be n third cis 180 degrees and the final one is going to be at degrees and those are basically our three roots folks and express in polar form okay next question solve the following equation for x in terms of p so we need to rearrange x in terms of p so in this case um, I need to get rid of the square root symbol so to get rid of the first square root symbol I'm going to go square root of x minus 4 squared equals square root of x minus p squared. So when I do this, I end up with square root of x minus 4 times square root of x minus 4 equals uh, x minus p. So expanding the, uh, the brackets on the left hand side, I'm going to get x minus 8 root x 
plus 16 equals x minus p. So I've got minus 8 root x. Uh, the two x's cancel out each other. And I have minus 8 root x plus 16 equals minus p. Rearranging this, I'm going to get p plus 16 equals 8 root x. Rearranging it, I'm going to get p over 8 plus 16 over 8 equals root x, which means root x is equal to p over 8 plus 2. And so x is equal to p over 8 plus 2 all squared. And we can leave the answer like that, folks. Cool. Uh, that's it for this session, guys. Um, and as usual, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Thank you for watching.